So why does it feel like everywhere is flooding and we're breaking temperature records at the same time? The answer is thick air that you feel all around you. And climate change has a connection here. The United States has experienced flash flood after flash flood after flash flood. And some quick accounting shows the amount of flash flood warnings issued by the National Weather Service in 2025 exceeds any other year in the modern era. Here's the connection. Climate change is making ocean temperatures more likely to be too warm, even for this time of the year. Warmer oceans, more evaporation, more moisture for these weather systems to tap into. And we can show this using attribution science of the Climate Shift Index Ocean. Take Texas. Unusual warmth made up to 30 times more likely because of climate change in the Gulf of Mexico. New York and New Jersey, at least 10 times more likely in the Atlantic and the ragged tropical low headed for Louisiana. Water temperatures up to 100 to 200 times more likely because of heat trapping pollution. And like those warmer oceans don't just create more intense storms, they're constantly pumping moisture into our atmosphere. Globally, some of the highest on record. More evaporation means more water vapor suspended in the air. That's why your summer feels so sticky and why storms can dump so much more rain when they hit. But here's the kicker. All that humidity is trapping heat overnight. We already know that summer nights are warming about twice as fast as summer days because of the impacts of climate change. This week, the Climate Shift Index shows us how a large portion of the eastern U.S. was dealing with near to all-time record nighttime warmth. That was rare, or temperatures that were almost virtually impossible without the influence of climate change. And when this humid air makes it so we can't release the heat at night, our bodies can't do their job and cool down either. That's not just uncomfortable, but for some, it could also lead to higher risks of heat illness. So when you walk out and you wear that sticky summer air, remember that this is climate change. And to see the fingerprints of the heat that we're dealing with in July, go right now. See the data at csi.climatecentral.org.